United States sent 300 telephone poles to Bangladesh. We gave 300 telephone poles to Bangladesh for them to use for power and basically telephone. And the 300 telephone poles had arsenic sealant on the outside. What kind of sealant? Arsenic sealant on the outside. And these people in Bangladesh, what they do, put the telephone pole in the ground, right? Put the poles in the ground, and it contaminated their well water. The oh. arsenic from the poles got into the what? Well water and contaminated their well water. Are y'all with me on that? It was the worst issue than ever because could well water get contaminated? The answer is what? Yes, and if there's arsenic sealing on the telephone pole, that's where the problem came from. So in Charlotte, it's not a big deal, but when I'm teaching Durham, Chapel Hill, and Raleigh, they freak out over this pressure-treated lumber. And you know what the Raleigh agents say? I know that ain't a material fact, but I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. Well, could they tell it? The answer is, well, yeah, go by ahead if you wish to, but in our area, we're pretty okay with it. But also, one last one. If you look right on gas before the break, What's the magic number for EPA saying that says the level is what? 4.0. And by the way, did y'all remember on the business journal in May, third floor condo, Lada Pavilion, had radon gas in it? How do y'all remember that story in the business journal? Condo, East Boulevard, Lada Pavilion, third floor, on like seven months old, had radon gas. Where in the world did the radon gas originate? From the sand, from the concrete. Y'all, the concrete in that portion of the building had blocked uranium in it. And y'all remember, it blocked or uranium decays and then say what? Gas. And that's where the radon gas originated. Do you know Clay Brook? Clay was in my class in May, and he said they'd gone in each of those units and installed ventilation systems to circulate the air to lower the levels of radon gas. So if you hear there was radon gas in a third floor condo, East Boulevard, that was the big answer was what? Yes. Also, Preston, are you doing more radon inspections since radon has been an issue these days? Yes, we are. Probably, uh, I would say, over half of our inspections. Ha half our the inspections are radon gas now? Yeah, and I wanted to add to that, Bill. Um, we just uh, got a reading back of 11. 11? On, on a Preston. brand new condo off 6th Street. Brand new condo off 6th Street. With a lot new of concrete new. in it. That's Was it new condo or old condo? New. New, new condo. Yeah. Y'all write this in the left margin. New condos could have what? Radon gas. New construction can have what? Radon gas. And also, I don't mean to be negative, but there's going to be an observer article in about two weeks about granite countertops. Y'all remember a couple years ago, a lot of people thought, could granite countertop have radon gas? Answer is what? Yes. Granite could have what? Radon gas. Low levels, not major levels, but low levels. But how y'all see the builders sometimes seal the granite? The granite is what sealed, sealed granite countertop or sealed granite backsplashes. Well, if it's sealed, it's basically what encapsulated. But y'all, some of this raw granite that people have used in their houses over the years, they're having that tested and they're having what? Low levels of granite, not high levels, but low levels. So when you see the Charlotte Observer article in about two weeks on could there be radon in granite countertops, answer is what? Yes.